Greetings, it is Maxo Diddly here, and today we are here with another Java tutorial to be getting a in your coursework or exam. And today we're here with validating a password part six. And in this password validation tutorial, we're going to cover checking if your password is a digit or not. So some passwords can only consist of digits. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Uh, an example could be a pin for your credit card. And we're going to do a quick method on how you can validate for that. So let's get right into it. So here we've got a string for our password, and it's just going to be numbers from 1 to 9. And then we've got system.out.println password is digits and password. This is going to be us printing out the result of our password check. And we're going to pass in, obviously, our password string. Then we're going to do public static boolean password is digit string password. So this is a boolean method. It's going to return a true or a false. It's called password is digit. So we're going to pass in a string called password. And inside that, we're going to have a very simple for loop. For int i equals zero, i less than password dot length, i plus plus. This is your standard loop through array for loop. And then inside here, we're going to have an if statement. If character dot digit password char at i, and then we're going to check for the opposite of that. So we're going to put an exclamation mark in front of it. And what we're doing here is we're checking if the current character of the password we're currently checking isn't a digit, return false. And the reason why we're doing this is, let's say we're looping through our password and let's say the password is 1234A56789. So we go through one, it's a digit, we continue. Two is a digit, we continue. Three is a digit, we continue. Four is a digit, so we continue. A is not a digit. And so since it's not a digit, the return false statement will be executed. And the reason is we don't need to bother checking the rest of the digits or characters in this password because we know A is invalid because it's not a digit. And there's absolutely no way the rest of the password could redeem that because everything has to be a digit. So that's why we return false. There's no point checking the rest. After that for loop, we add a return true. Because if it makes it through the whole for loop, that means that every character is a digit. And therefore, it's a valid password, so we do return true. And that's basically it for the method. And before we test this out, I just want to say that there are other ways you could go about doing this. You could use a regex pattern, or you could use like, um, maybe something like integer.parseInt and in a try catch statement. And there's a few other ways, and those are all valid in their own way. But I choose to do the for loop with the characters, with the character check. So let's get into testing it. So be sure to save your code with control S or hit the save button up at the top. And let's hit play. As you can see, it returns a true because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 is only digits. Let's type in, let's put an A on the end and then save. It's false because there's a digit in the password. No, there's a non-digit in the password. Let's put an exclamation mark instead. False. An exclamation mark is not a digit. Let's just put in a bunch of zeros. It's true. Zeros are digits. Let's put subscribe in here. And it says false. But if you're not subscribed, you definitely should subscribe. So uh, we, I, I'm sure we can make an exception here and have that be a true. And let's try one other thing. One, two, a. It's a combination of letters and digits. As you can see, it says false. And that's it for this tutorial. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. As I said before, you should definitely subscribe. I'll have a link to a playlist of all sorts of password validation videos if you're interested in doing more. And thanks for being a great audience. I'll see you next time.